Omaha's news leader, chronicling the stories and people making a difference in our community. This is KETV News Watch 7's Chronicle. To reach our city's potential, Omaha must reaffirm and reinforce the Urban Corps' historic role as a cultural, residential, and employment part of the region. This was Omaha Mayor Jean Stothert's message in her State of the City address in March. Since then, there have been a number of developments announced for and opened in that urban core, from libraries to music venues, even an entire city block project with a major grocery store. And there's an eye on more projects in the future. Well, good morning. Thanks for joining us. I'm Rob McCartney. The most recent announcement out of City Hall, the plans to develop the site of the old former Civic Auditorium. It's a multi-use project called Civic Square. It'll really begin to take shape next year, but much sooner. In fact, this morning, the new downtown branch of the Omaha Public Library will have its grand opening. We're going to talk about that a little bit later. Also downtown, Steelhouse Omaha welcomed its first crowd earlier this month as The Killers opened the city's newest mu music venue. But of course, the biggest project, Civic Square, bringing housing, retail and office space, and a major grocery store to downtown. Developers say they want to breathe new life into the site of the old Civic Auditorium. And Chronicle's Quinesia Fraser has more about the plans for the plot near 17th and Capitol. This is something that is grand. Grand indeed. From offices, a health and wellness anchor, retail and housing. I think one of the rare facts that people forget is that this is a federally designated food desert. To a major grocery store. It's a huge asset to downtown as well as having one that is a full scale grocer, not a corner store. White Lotus Development Group says the Civic Square is coming to downtown Omaha. The planned development is located in Councilwoman Juanita Johnson's district. And Looking at the uh, endless opportunities that this would not only bring to the downtown area, but also mid-downtown um, North Omaha, um, nearby Creighton. These renderings show what people can expect once the project's done. It's an exciting time. That was Quinesia Fraser reporting, and joining us now is Arun Agarwal from, C, uh, from White Lotus, the CEO, and thanks for joining us. First off, pleasure to be here. Got to ask you, how tough was it to get Civic Square done? I would tell you it's not done yet, but it's the hopefully nearing the end of the beginning. Right. Um, and maybe the rebirth is the best way to describe it. Uh, I think that we have a lot of positive momentum, and, and one of it starts with a friendly city hall mm -hmm. and a city hall that was open to listening and thinking of options. And I think when you, when you have that uh, coupled with a lot of the other... Omaha's news leader, chronicling the stories and people making a difference in our community. This is KETV News Watch 7's Chronicle. To reach our city's potential, Omaha must reaffirm and reinforce the Urban Corps' historic role as a cultural, residential, and employment part of the region. That was Omaha Mayor Jean Stothard's message in her State of the City address in March. Well, since then, there have been a number of developments announced for and opened in that urban core, from libraries to music venues, even an entire city block project with a major grocery store, and there's even eye an eye on more projects in the future. Well, good morning. Thanks for joining us. I'm Rob McCartney. The most recent announcement out of City Hall plans to develop the site of the former Civic Auditorium. It's a multi-use pro project called Civic Square, really begin to take shape next year. 
but much sooner. In fact, this morning, the new downtown branch of the Omaha Public Library will have its grand opening. We're going to talk about that a little bit later. Also downtown, there's Steelhouse Omaha. It welcomed its first crowd earlier this month as the Killers opened the city's newest music venue. But of course, the biggest project, that's Civic Square, bringing housing, retail and office space, and a major grocery store to downtown. Developers say they want to breathe new life into the site of the old Civic Auditorium. And Chronicle's Quinesia Fraser has more about the plans for the plot near 17th and Capitol. This is something that is grand. Grand indeed, from offices, a health and wellness anchor, retail and housing. I think one of the rare facts that people forget is that this is a federally designated food desert. To a major grocery store. It's a huge asset to downtown, as well as having one that is a full-scale grocer, not a corner store. White Lotus Development Group says the Civic Square is coming to downtown Omaha. The planned development is located in Councilwoman Juanita Johnson's district. <laughs> Looking at the uh, endless opportunities that this would not only bring to the downtown area, but also mid-downtown um, North Omaha, um, nearby Creighton. These renderings show what people can expect once the project's done. It's an exciting time for Omaha. As an urbanist, Alexis Bromley studies cities and how development can impact the people in them. In her opinion, White Lotus is going about the planned development the right way. You want it to not be one single use site. You don't want the entire nine acres to be used for a grocery store. You want it to be broken up as well as an amenity that is offered amongst other things within the area. White Lotus CEO Arun Agarwal says he's motivated to boost Omaha's urban core. Phenomenal announcements with the Riverfront, Kiwit Luminarium, Mutual of Omaha, a streetcar. All of these things, um, Civic Auditorium is just next in line. An exciting time for those who want to see downtown get to the next level. We are going to generate people coming into our city, wanting to stay in our city, develop in our city, invest in our city, and definitely um, encourage young folks to remain in the city. That was Quinesia Fraser reporting and joining us now is Arun Agarwal from, C, uh, from White Lotus, the CEO, and thanks for joining us. First right, off, pleasure to be here. Got to ask you, how tough was it to get Civic Square done? I would tell you it's not done yet, but it's the hopefully nearing the end of the beginning. Right. Um, and maybe the rebirth is the best way to describe it. Uh, I think that we have a lot of positive momentum, and, and one of it starts with a friendly city hall. Mm -hmm. and a city hall that was open to listening and thinking of options. And I think when you, when you have that, uh, coupled with a lot of the other activities that are happening in our city, it, it certainly helps us gain momentum mm -hmm. towards different ideas. And, and I think this is what the, hopefully the product that we've articulated so far is, is an indication of what that, the result of those conversations. Yeah, but there are a lot of moving pieces that have to go into something like this, right? I mean, that nine block area is set fallow for quite a while. Absolutely. And, and I think, again, that's, we're in, a, in an ideal time on a lot of facets and a challenge on a couple of others. We have significant investment going on in the urban core, not only at the city level, right. you have Mutual of Omaha, you have Kiwit that moved downtown, you've got Kiwit Luminarium, you have a streetcar that's now in planning. So a lot of momentum that's going in. Creighton University adjacent, mm -hmm. it's growing within the Big East, um, all with positive leadership. And so that kind of investment makes our job a lot easier. Mm -hmm. We're not trying to sell something that is not needed. Certainly everybody's recognizing that the urban core uh, is investable mm -hmm. and it needs further investment. So we're frankly just following the lead of a lot of these phenomenal organizations. Gotcha. I may have said nine block area. It's a nine acre nine block. Acre area. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, people it, may be thinking, wow, it's yeah, huge. Nine block. It is good. huge. <laughs> For, as far as urban core is concerned, it is big. And you mentioned urban core. You're motivated to boost Omaha's urban core. Why? Why is it critical? Why is it critical to do that? I, frankly, I think it's probably the most critical thing at the city right now. Yeah. I think as much as we talk about real estate and real estate development as this project is, Really what we are after and White Lotus as an entity we think about is what does the city need? And from our perspective, it's mass migration. Employers and our clients are describing that we need talent. We need people to stay. A great stat that Father Hendrickson recently shared is that 50% of the graduates from Creighton University 
His first job is in Omaha. And in one sentence, that's a fantastic statistic. And in another sentence, it gives us so much opportunity mm -hmm. to grab the other 50% and say, can we build a better Omaha? And so when you think about attracting people to our city, the, the cultural vibe of the city, the heartbeat of the city is in the urban core. We don't think about the, the suburban parts of cities. We think about the urban environment, and that's the best way to attract people into our city. And it's a hidden gem. But how, how do you weigh the suburban against the urban downtown? Is it, is it an either or? And also, what, and this is devil's advocate right here, what's so bad about letting the, the downtown just become conduct, commercial and industrial if the, if the market is moving out? Uh, well, I think that's partly the challenge, mm -hmm. is that the, er, the office and the employers are not currently investing at the rate that we had hoped, mm -hmm. and that causes a more of a suburban sprawl. And, and of course, we, there's beneficiary, there's benefits to having that, but a straw er, urban core, it's all of our arts are down here. All of our culture is down here. Our history is down here. I mean, look what Channel 7 has done with mm -hmm. this phenomenal, the Burlington Station revitalization. It's, it's gorgeous and it's a labor of love. It certainly <laughs> uh, is not the easy path to go. Mm -hmm. And so I think that as long as we recognize that, and to answer your question, Rob, I don't think it's an either or. And I think the Civic Square per site um, is, probably one of the forgotten opportunities. And it was forgotten by us as well. We thought of that site as kind of a lesser site than others in our urban core in downtown because we, it was forgotten. We just, it, because the Civic Auditorium was gone for so long, mm -hmm. we never traveled at exit. But when we think about the urban core, it is actually the number one site in our urban core because sub, suburban residents in our city can actually access that site easier than any other site in downtown. And so I think that's what's gonna lend us a lot of opportunities to bring more density and more services to the urban core and kind of further, further the overall urban core story. Uh, is, it a, is, is it going to be a done deal? Can I 99, 100% sure that uh, this hey, will happen? We are, First, I would articulate to, we've had a lot of fe positive feedback, mm -hmm. and that's not always the case. It's always scary to present projects, and sure. it's like your art, and all of a sudden you present your art, and somebody might have a different opinion about its aesthetic or its layout. Overwhelmingly, it's been incredibly positive. Mm -hmm. I like to think that White Lotus, we're an entity that when we say we're going to do something, that we execute on it. So. I would tell you, I think it's a, it's a done deal. We will get this done, and we've already started that process. So we're frankly in the middle of the city entitlement process that typically takes a two quarters or so. And I would hope that shortly thereafter, we're starting to grade the site and put streets and 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 introduce that um, the the mobility mm -hmm. kind of plan that we've we've thought through. Now about your company, I'm intrigued by the meaning of your company. I looked it up online, and behind the white lotus flower. You write, with its roots based in mud, it submerges every night into murky river water, <laughs> and undeterred by its dirty environment, it miraculously reblooms in the next morning without residue on its petals. Although cultures have, have their own interpretations of this daily process, there is a general consensus among ancient texts that it symbolizes spiritual enlightenment and rebirth. And you go on to say, literally, rise buildings out of the muck, planting our roots. Does, is, well, how is the, why is that important? I don't know if I have much to add to that. Um, I mean, it's very certainly. visual. It, it is, and, it, and you know, we just finished the, the downtown library. Mm -hmm. Here's a building that we would describe, you're walking through it and you might even have felt danger um, mm -hmm. or mud or water or the elements because of a condition that it was left in. But it's a hundred year old structure mm -hmm. that's, integral into the culture of our city. It was used in the food industry, which is frankly what our, the industry that built this great city. Um, and to be able to repurpose that building and to reuse it mm -hmm. is an example of what you just described. And the, the joy that we get in doing that and walking through that, mm -hmm. and, and I think the Civic Square is going to be another example of here's a, a cultural gem. I mean, we had all attended concerts and shows and, 
and to experience that and to now rethink and reimagine and what is now a, a dark pile and to rethink uh, what that can be and what it will be and what it will contribute to the city, hopefully it parallels to that name. And I think that we always describe that White Lotus Group, we, the creativity isn't just in the design, it's also in our approach. And I think that we, we frankly forget that. We always think aesthetic, and it doesn't necessarily need to be aesthetic. It could be our approach. It's our solution. It's our, um, it's our uh, answer to a question. Nice. Arun, I appreciate you coming in today. I, we appreciate you, uh, your interest and, and uh, appreciate best, the... Best of luck to you. Hey, thank you so much.